everyone kind of knows that exercise is good for you and resistance training in particular with heavier weights can be very beneficial for your longevity and body composition. But what if you don't have access to heavy weights all the time? Wouldn't it be amazing to get the same benefits from lighter loads and without overloading your joints with these heavy masses of weight? This video talks about the benefits of blood flow restriction training or BFR, how you can use it for both muscle growth and longevity. Don't move a muscle. The human body tends to deteriorate with age. After the age of 30, aging is characterized by a progressive decrease in skeletal muscle. This process is called sarcopenia and it can happen at a rate of 3 to 8% reduction per decade. From the age of 40, lean tissue and strength get reduced by about 1% per year. Even very athletic people's bodies consist of only 30 to 40% of muscle, which isn't that much. This makes maintaining muscle mass especially important for longevity and aging. There's a lot of research suggesting that muscular strength is inversely and independently associated with all-cause mortality. A 2016 paper found that amongst a large cohort of 65 and older, mortality rates were significantly lower in individuals who did regular strength training. Basically, more muscle and strength reduces your chances of dying and can increase your lifespan, especially in older people. The most common and effective way of building muscle is resistance training. It's a form of high-intensity exercise that targets type 2 or fast-twitch muscle fibers. This is in contrast to slow twitch or type 1 muscle fibers that get trained when doing endurance or low intensity exercise. Blood flow restriction training or BFR is a form of exercise that applies occlusion cuffs around the muscles that are being trained. This restricts blood flow to the target region and creates partial blood flow restriction. Research has found that moderate BFR combined with low load resistance training enhances muscle hypertrophy and strength. BFR may also result in small strength gains during low intensity aerobic training. Best of all, BFR alone can attenuate muscle atrophy. It's important to realize that BFR doesn't fully constrict blood flow into your muscles. The occlusion cuffs do it only partially and non-invasively. BFR creates partial inflow into the muscle and restricts venous outflow from the muscle. BFR can give your body an effective stimulus for muscle growth and maintenance without overloading the joints and cardiovascular system. Traditionally, the go-to method for increasing muscle and strength has been heavy strength training between 60 to 80 percent of your one repetition maximum. However, it's been shown that BFR can be effective even at 20 to 30 percent of your maximum. You can basically trick your body into thinking it's lifting a much larger amount of weight than it actually is. Blood flow restriction training was pioneered by a Japanese professor Yoshiaki Sato over 50 years ago. Today, Dr. Sato is in his 70s and in remarkable shape. So here are some of the scientific benefits of blood flow restriction training. Muscle hypertrophy with lower intensities. BFR has been shown to enhance mTOR signaling in rats, which is the body's major pathway of muscle growth. Less stress on the joints and tendons. You can stimulate muscle growth and protein synthesis at intensities lower than 50%. It basically mimics heavy lifting without the heavy loads. Increased growth hormone release. A study found that only 15 minutes of BFR increased growth hormone by about 290 times. Release of stem cells. BFR in experimental groups creates a faster proliferation rate of stem cells. Better blood flow. You'll have increased blood flow in the muscle strained, but also more cerebral blood flow in the brain, which protects against stroke and brain dysfunction. It also increases nitric oxide that promotes blood flow and further stimulates muscle satellite stem cells. Growth of new blood vessels. BFR increases vascular endothelial growth factor called VEGF, which enhances the growth of new blood vessels and blood vessel plasticity. Sarcopenia and age-related muscle loss is prevalent amongst 25% of adults over the age of 60. In people over 80, it's 50%. The increased rates of metabolic syndrome and obesity also indicate that the population lacks muscle fitness and metabolic health. Muscle tissue is one of your most valuable organs as it houses all the other organs and provides additional protection against injuries, the challenges of life, helps to dispose glucose and increases your metabolic rate. Is a highly active metabolic tissue that enables you to stay healthier and not get obese. During BFR training, you exhaust your slow twitch muscle fibers due to limited oxygen, which leads to the recruitment of type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers. This enables you to keep performing anaerobically and stimulates muscle growth. Now, the biggest group of people that will benefit from BFR is the aging population, as well as people who suffer some, from some sort of injuries, like you know, you break your arm and you're put into cast, so you can still keep the muscle stimulated by using the BFR bands, even if you are wearing a cast. So that's why rehab and injury prevention is very effective uh, with the BFR.
But even if you don't have any injuries and even if you are already fit and muscular, you're doing regular, regular resistance training, then even then you can benefit from using VFR as a way of promoting recovery and uh, speeding up the uh, speeding up the recovery process in general. You're going to get like this massive uh, pump and it's going to be very useful for just clearing out metabolic waste from the muscles as well as stimulating uh, additional hypertrophy. The pump. I personally use BFR bands at home basically every day. As I said before, BFR isn't complete occlusion of blood like a tourniquet. You can use them for both arms as well as legs. The pioneer of BFR research and blood flow moderation training is Kotso that introduced it to the West. They also have the most research done specifically on their training methodologies. Kotso bands use an algorithm to automatically pressurize the bands around your arms and feet. They also have an automated system for adding additional pressure to the limbs in cycles. These Katsu cycles can be treated as a recovery session on their own as they'll have an effect on blood flow by just wearing them. You can just slap them on and even do work on your computer while wearing them and they're gonna still have an effect. If you wanna try out the Katsu cycle bands then use the code SEAM for a 10% discount. If you can't afford Katsu bands then regular BFR bands can also work although they're less effective. Alright that's it for this video. If you like it then click like and subscribe. In the future, I'll also make some more videos about how do you actually train with the BFR bands and how do you use the Katsu cycles. Thanks for watching, my name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered. The pump.